29 years old. Wow. <laughs> Can anyone else help me appreciate this? Because it feels overwhelming. I've been kind of re dreading coming up to this. I don't know why, but it's just like my knees this year went out. Like all this crazy stuff. You want to go to bed early. Ah, yeah, getting older. So, but also I was just moved to recap this past year. It's been just a complex, I don't even know how complex, how much more I can make this more complex. It's just overwhelming the amount of things that I went through this year. So, and I just wanted to kind of speak out on that real quick and do a recap and also to help other people that have reached these very low moments or pivotal moments that the, the bottom, the things that you're experiencing right now are only for your benefit. When you go through those things, they're actually refining you so you can actually do the things that you need to do. You need to let go of the things that are actually getting in the way that you think that you need and that they're valuable and that they're important, that you can't leave them behind, but you can let them some things go. There's many moments where I just had to be still and do nothing. I didn't need to fix it. It's not your job to fix it. It's your job to listen. Too often we try to speak, we try to do, and it ends up making us worse and more depressed because we have more responsibility that we just keep taking on and taking on. So that continues to build and it just makes things worse. There's many moments where I had to just lay on the floor, take deep breaths, or just put my hands out and just said, God, put what you need to put in my hands during this moment. Teach me what to focus on. What is valuable during this time? I need to reflect on what you need for my life. Help me get control of my emotions, the desires, all these things that I want right now. And then just let them come in time and then help me really prioritize and confess that these are the things that I really desire during this moment. So yeah, the, those past year, uh, obviously, the people that have been following my story know who I am, have seen it all. Um, so job loss and then um, the marriage fell apart, coming back to Chicago, uh, coming back to Grand Rapids F F from Chicago, um, getting into a few jobs here and just constantly pushing for this, that, doing two things at once and trying to uh, heal emotionally, trying to heal spiritually, uh, physically. There was just so many dynamics to uh, pay attention to during this past year and to give myself time and space because I realized that um, all throughout my life there was just a lot of pressure and a lot of different places where I put myself where that was very stressful and I was just just plowing through things and act, I wasn't actually making good decisions. So slowing down um, and making great conscious decisions so I didn't have to undo it later. So much more aware, much more at peace and every single day like there's I mean, especially where I'm at right now, where um, I don't I don't panic. So I'm very optimistic, and I view life as a as a game. I was thinking of this this past year that it's just kind of everything about the the job and the the, the way we treat our education. It's all about title prestige. Like it's just like we're playing this game and if you lose it's okay just play again and play again until you actually become a winner and then hold on to that and if you need to check out of the game cash out that's okay and get back in the game the game is always going to be there for you and I think that's why life is so busy and chaotic is that we make it into this game and it's okay if you need to hit pause it's okay if you fall out of the game and you need to start over doing something else in another, another field or facet of life, that's okay. So my kind of advice is like, don't panic that nothing in this life can't be fixed. And especially here in the United States, we have so many opportunities and a great community around us. And if there's something that's just overwhelming, you think it's so important that you have to fix it and you can't tell someone about it, you can't get help for it, you can't um, find the silver lining or something like that, it's, it's okay, you need time. Be patient with yourself and it will come to you within time. And it, I, when things are, when you get pushed to your limits, you actually know what you're made of and what you're capable of and what you actually desire. Because then you have to eliminate to the one thing that you actually need during that, 
that moment and you have to ask for it. When you're overwhelmed with all this stuff, you have a hundred different things on your to-do list, it's hard to get very specific and be cl clear on what you actually desire during that moment because you're trying to juggle all these things and it's just not good because you can't make a choice. It's just like, I, I can't get rid of all of it. But once you get backed into the corner, your back's against the wall, you have to actually pick one thing and saying that's my one thing. I can't take on the rest of it. This is the one thing I care about the most. And that's where you got, that's a really great moment in your life. I think these, uh, so many lessons have come out of this year and it's, it's so good to feel like, yeah, that it happened and like I was losing and losing and you're losing all this stuff, your house, your possessions or your job or your relationships. And, but at the same time, it got me very clear there was nothing else but God at one moment for a while there where it was just like, this isn't the only thing that fulfills me. The only thing that I think is valuable, like what's the point of everything else? The thing that only comforted me was the hope and grace of God that uh, just having him there knowing that the only thing I had to do is remain faithful to him. The only thing I had to do is remain close to him. The only thing I had to do is feel his spirit in my life and it, it, it touched my life and it kind of gave me some perspective on what the world does to us and just pushes us and pushes us to become and do and be more so we can, are, we're worthy and then we are worthy for our partner's love, we're worthy for um, our kids' love, for our parents' love, for our job love. Like we don't think we're ever worthy. It's never good enough and it's not. And then especially for a lot of the, a lot of the guys out there that have, to provide there's enormous pressure to provide do this you can't mess up you got to keep going 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 there's no slow moment for a guy there's always do 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 and we talk about business and we do all this stuff about projecting the future and all these ideas but at the same time it, they need to learn that it's okay to not always be on and it's good to do education it's good to slow down and talk about the spiritual life or the emotional side all those things that they don't do because they always are providing. There's never an opportunity to course correct. And I've witnessed that with a lot of uh, older men and even people in our family where they always were doing because they had no other choice but just to keep going. And it's unfortunate because you can see the repercussions and they weren't even conscious of the things that they were doing because they just needed to keep going. And everyone needs the time and space to slow down both, both men and women need to do this to slow down and take a breath and make sure that they're doing the right things because sometimes it, you just go and you never get a chance to unwind all the stuff that you did over those years it's good for reflection and to course correct if you got off course a little bit and just be patient with yourself it's gonna be okay there's nothing that's not unforgivable if you're feeling anxious or you don't have anything going for you right now it's it's gonna be fine. You're gonna find what you need in this upcoming year. So know when you're going through something hard, it's just refining you to do the right thing and go into the field that you need to. And remain in prayer and remain in the world. Remain positive and joyful. You'll understand joy and love at a deeper level once you've experienced pain, you can appreciate it and it's only going to make your life better. So if it hurts, it's okay. It's going to get better. And I'm just hoping that everyone this year, after some of the things that uh, I've been through, you can use me as a resource. I'd love to talk to you. There's so many areas and facets that I've experienced almost at all. I know not at all, but I'm getting there and I'd love to be there for people that need uh, someone to listen and help them and tell them that it's okay. It's not gonna end there's it's, it's, you know there's opportunity after this I'm very calm in the pressure moments and stress moments I've been through those moments and you'll get through them and you'll learn how to manage those things and deal with them and rationalize those things so you'll be okay so anyway I just wanted everyone to have a great day thank you for all the birthday wishes thank you for supporting me I hope this year is great with growth in the real estate market and business and I'm just looking forward to serving this community. Grand Rapids is growing like crazy. The schools are amazing here. We have people coming in from all different states coming here to use our universities, the jobs. We're having people all over the country, inter international people. A lot of the new construction is actually people coming in and building new homes that are in the professional medical field right now. So thank God for 
there are that, the community with the food and resources, uh, with the restaurants and the entertainment that's going on. It just makes it a fun place to be. And then we have so many churches and religions uh, to choose from. Like, so it's just take your pick. So it's a great place to have a, a Christian relationship or any other denomination as well. Um, and then it was what manufacturing it has been going on in the city and just so much growth. And it's, it's cool to see that Grand Rapids is one of the few places in the United States that has that excitement factor. Um, the As far as the commute factor, the roads are amazing and it's easy to get around. Even though we're a big city and we have many opportunities, it's easy to drive, get around the city in 15, 30 minutes. Or I was just down in Naples and Florida down there. Very complicated and very stressful. And it just, this place is peaceful and it has everything you need. And it's a great place to be and I'm so happy that I get to serve you guys. So if you guys have any um, anything for about 29, teach me about what's coming up in 29 if you're 30. I'd love to hear what your 29 year was like. Connect with me through a message. And uh, yeah guys, I'm 29. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to make the most of it. Alright, appreciate you guys. Take care.